president, I hope I'm not too young to write you this letter. How can we avoid such incidents? What can be done better? I used to enjoy going to school, but recently my heart started to hesitate. We still can bring changes, even though I think it is a little late. Deep down in my heart, getting in school bus brings me fear. I still can't forget the recent incident in Connecticut, which brought us here. Well, this is not my only concern. Take it as your little friend's advice. Why? Why, Mr. President? Why those little angels had to pay the price? I'm drowning in sorrow and also have little feelings of anger. Should our life depend on a stupid gun holder's finger? Imagine, what went through those angels when that devil walked in their classroom and started to fire? Many little children like me were dead. There is definitely not anything for me to inspire. Those who woke up in the morning with excitement never saw the sunset. I tried millions of times all night, but sorry, I'm scared and I cannot forget. Life and death is very complicated for my age, but I understand the situation when I see the blood. A human like us killed those innocent? How can I blame all this to God? Those kids had beautiful future beyond and a whole life to give meaning. But before learning what life is, a demon stopped them before their beginning. I've started to think schools are not safe anymore. Where else can we live? By killing little innocents, what can a person possibly achieve? We have to take steps to avoid future incidents like this, and we cannot neglect. Imagine how tough it is for parents to see their own kids shot with bullets. Their family will miss them and always feel their absence. Please, President, ban the gun rights, which we need more than condolence. In this gloomy atmosphere, I am insecure about everything, and I see my future dim. We want country without gun, so that no more children have to be a victim. I am restless and exhausted. I am feeling like burning in a flame. I'm still trying to figure out who is responsible for this and whom to blame. Oh, how does it feel to see little children lying down in a grave? I wish all this is a bad dream and wash it away with one big wave. Even though I'm young, my emotions are hurt and very happy. I pray to God in this tough hour to provide strength to their family. We wish to grow up in this safe country to serve, but bullet is not what we small kids deserve. This is the time for me to raise my little voice. Say no to guns since we don't have any other choice. I beg to you, dear president, we do not need a gun. To see these children murdered is definitely not a fun. Gonna have to come together and take meaningful action to prevent more tragedies like this and I will do everything in my power as president to help.